how important is feedback to you? For me, it's very important as it gives me guidance to go in the right direction with a specific product. And that's why I want to show you Formaloo, a product that allows you to build any type of form for your website so you can gather feedback. Let's check it out. This is the Formaloo platform. And here on the dashboard, we can either create a new Formaloo, as they call it, or we can see the forms we've already created. Over here in the menu, you can see that we can actually share forms between each other. They have a customer data platform, and then they have a bunch of templates. And this is a huge pro for using Formaloo. Try to see all of these different templates that they have built for us to use. Really like that. And here you only see four within one category, but if I open up here, they often has more, and you can see here they have eight in this category. That makes it easy for you to get started with a form. Now, I want to make a form that helps gather customer feedback. So here it will initialize the template. And you can see on the left side, we have all of the fields we are building with. And on the right side, we have how it will look in real time. So here we have the title of the form. I will call this one customer feedback. And then you can see that it has inserted up here a logo. If I click here, then I can upload a new logo. Here there is a short description and then we start on the form. So the first question is, how would you rate the design of our site? How would you rate the range of products and so on? So all of this is feedback questions. And if you want to add a question, for instance, let's say we want to add a drop down, then you basically just drag it over and you can see that it's not working 100% because it was dragging behind the layer, but it added it. So over here, we add the title of our uh, dropdown. In this case, we have our description here. This you can add if you want. Otherwise, the title will be the question. Then we can choose whether they have to answer this or not. And then down here, we add all of our options. So here we can say option two. We can say option three and so on. So now we have already created a new question. That's how easy it is. You can see we have the options over here and then you can actually play around with it already. And that's what I really like that we have the builder on the left side and then we have the form of how it looks on the right side. So you can tweak it and see immediately how it will look. And going back here, we can add multiple more fields and they are working on adding even more field types than this. But as long as you have the text and the single choice, the multiple choice, and the drop down, then you can almost get around. But they're adding a signature field in the near future. But this is our form, and you can see you can work with smileys, you can work with images as your single option. You can also work with an NPS score here and text fields. Now, up here in the settings is where we choose the address. We can change this one to just be customer feedback if it's available, of course. I would really like a C name option. Then here we can choose the category if you have categories for your forms. Then we can choose when should it be active from and when should it be active to. So let's say it's a form you want to gather feedback from 1st of February until 28th of February and then automatically it needs to close down. That's possible here. Let's say it's a form where you want to give an e-paper in exchange for the email. Then you can redirect them to the e-paper when they have finished the form right here. Here you choose whether the form data should be redirected to the URL as well. So if you want to on the redirect page, save the data there as well, you can do that here. Then you can set a timer, basically a countdown. You can set the max amount of responses you want to receive for this form. And here's just whether it's active or not. Now, one thing you can also add is payment. So let's say that this is a form to buy a book, for instance, then you can add a payment here. And the only payment method they are supporting at the moment is Stripe, but I really hope to see in the future some more payment methods. Right now I have not set up any payment methods that you do within settings. Now going back here, we have the design as well. And in the design, we choose how the form should be. Should it be a widget? Should it be a single step? Should it be a multi-step? And as I change these, you can see that the different options down here change as well. And this is where you customize it at the moment. So here you can see that we can change the colors. Let's say uh, this one is what we are going for. Here you can change the background color and the background photo. You can set a shadow 
And then up here you can set the colors for the buttons, the background, the fields and the text color. And based on what you're choosing here, then the options here are changing as well. Now you can also set up notification. So every time someone submit this form, you will receive a notification. And now some more technical parts because they do also have a calculator for your form. So in here you can use the form calculator to basically calculate what you need for the form. So let's say that you are building a price calculator for your website. Let's say that you're selling a specific project where based on how many items they want, it becomes more expensive. That is what you can use the, cal uh, the calculator for. And up here you can choose whether they need to see the calculation after submission or you want to show it on the redirected page. I would really like to be able to send them the calculation per email. But here you can see that if I click on a field, then you can add the calculation over here. Right now I cannot add calculations to these points, but what I just explained is what you use the calculator for. Now you can also build logic in. So let's say that you have a form and based on what they answer, then they need to go to specific steps. So let's say that you have an entire section in your form which talks about a certain subject, but they need to be able to skip that. Then in here you can drag the different fields and say that if they submit the form from here, then it needs to go to a link for instance. And we can add the if and else here. So let's say that if they answer a specific value, then jump to this step for instance. This is how you use the logic and this is your way to make a form which is customized for the customer so the customer doesn't have to spend time on answering questions or skipping questions that they don't need to answer. Now the last page is the result page. In here you can see some analytics about your form. You can see how many fields you have. You can view it and then you can see that we still have the different options here. We do also have presentation mode which I will show you just in a moment. Here in the charts we can see how likely are you to recommend us to a friend, could you tell us from where you placed your order. This is all the fields within the form. So when they start answering these you can see as a diagram who has chosen the most different types of answers. Over here basically it's just listing all of the responses. Here you can set up integrations to your form. So let's say that you want to collect all of the responses in Google Sheets then you just set it up via Sapier. And Sapier opens up endless possibilities and you can even use webhooks to send out your data. Then you can share your form here via a link or you can do it on social media and then you can choose whether it should be a widget, script, iframe or an embedded link on your own website. Now the presentation modes which I will enable here just gives you a link and this link is basically a way of showing your form. So you can see out here we have all the different questions and in here is where we start the form. So first off we have the first question here about stars. I will press continue on that. Then we have the question that we added in this video review. Continue and then so on. So you can test out the form here in the browser to see how it really works. Whether you need to incorporate more questions, if your logic is working as you wish or you need to change some design maybe. It's just a great way to get a full view of your form. Now they do also have a customer data platform. I will not dive too much into this, but here you have a dashboard, you have an overview of your customers, then you have the different campaigns that you're running. You can create a campaign here where you contact them via SMS or email and what you want to write in the campaign title, the description and what customers you want to send it to. Maybe it's per tax or it's all customers. And then you can send out with the subject an email. Very simple. Here you can build tags so you can divide your customer base into different types of groups. And then we have connections as well where you can see where they're coming from. Basically the source. And then you have the map view here where you can map your different data. It's a very simple platform where you can send out information to your customers that has submitted all of your forms and this is also a part of Formulu. Now before we move on to the pricing, I just want to show you settings. Because settings is just a quick overview of you. But if you go to payment methods, this is where you set up Stripe. So if I create a new payment method here, I can give it a title. And then it's basically just the information from Stripe with the private key, the published key. You can add a description if you want. And then you choose 
stripe down here and then you have your setup for your payment method it's that simple they do also have an open api if you want to integrate completely your system with formulu and here you get your api key and token for that and they do also have documentation for it as well you can start using formulu completely free and i will recommend you doing that so you can test out the product now when you have tested out formulu and you want to go with a paid plan they have a lot of different plans and they differ on both features the amount of forms you get and the storage so it's really important that you read all of the plans and choose the one that fits your need now the alternatives to formulu as i see it is typeform and block survey block survey we have already discussed and you can see the review up here but block survey are ahead on the way that they encrypt all of the data with blockchain which i also explained in the review whereas typeform is just the best alternative in the industry they have been there the longest they're the biggest team and their product is just superb i will say that formulu is the third in the pile here because formulu has some issues with the design they have some issues with the amount of fields that you can use and then the overall workflow in formulu needs a touch up now what can we expect in the future of formulu to begin with, they're working on an import module so we can import our Excel files, CSV files, and hopefully different types of files in the future, all of our data to collect it within Formulu. Then they're also working on an autosave function. This means that all of the users that goes to your forms and they do not finish the form, they will still save their data, both so you can see it, but also so they can come back and continue from where they left off. The third point I want to mention is customization. It's so important for both you and I that our forms looks like our universe for our website. And right now we cannot build with custom CSS or Google fonts. This is something they're adding. And the last point I just want to mention is they're adding more integrations so we can send our data wherever we need to. And they're adding more field types like a signature type. Now, after using Formulu, I really do like that they have a lot of templates because it's easy to get started. And then I really enjoy their Sapier integration so we can send data wherever we need it to go. Now, two things I wish they would improve is the design of the platform and the workflow overall. Sometimes it can be a little bit complicated creating these forms and styling them as we need it to. My thoughts on Formulu is that I'm really missing the wow factor. With Formulu, we can build forms and we can send the data of the forms to an external program. But if I have to be a little rough, that's about it. I'm really missing an extra layer. It's not easy to create forms and all of our data is not encrypted like we saw with Block Survey. Typeform is really winning on the workflow of how easy it is to create forms. So I feel Formulu is not there yet, but it does has potential. And that's why I want to give Formulu three stars. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.